In this video today, we're going to walk you through making commercial quality beer at home using really simple equipment and our fresh work kits. Hi, I'm Rob. We're here at Maltwiller HQ and today we're going to be talking about our fresh work kits. But just before we do that, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications. We've got stacks of information all about making beer for your viewing pleasure. So let's just take a minute to have a look exactly what a fresh wort kit is. Now, wort is simply unfermented beer. Now, wort can be produced at home by various different means or indeed by a brewery. To make wort, brewers steep malted barley. That can be done commercially or at home or we can use a beer extract kit. With traditional extract kits, the wort is boiled under vacuum at a fairly low temperature to reduce its volume. This makes it easier to ship and more conveniently packaged for the home brewer. So when brewing a malt extract kit at home, the brewer has to add water back to the kit. So this is where there's a big differential between a malt extract kit and one of our fresh work kits. When we're brewing these at home, we simply empty them into a fermenter and ferment using the yeast supplied. Our fresh work kits are made in a professional brewery using exactly the same work that they use to make their own beers. There's some huge benefits to making a fresh work kit over any other method of brewing beer at home. Let's take a look at those. Firstly, let's take a look at the water. Now we do need to have concerns over the water being used either to reconstitute a beer kit or within all grain brewing. With a fresh work kit, all of that is taken care of. We simply don't need to worry about it. All of our fresh work kits are tried and tested recipes made by commercial breweries. We know they are awesome beers. It's in the nature of home brewers to want to tinker with kits and our fresh work kits are absolutely perfect for that. You can swap out the yeast or swap out the dry hops to make a completely different beer. Very often in home brewing, the final outcome is strictly determined by the amount of time and care we take to make the initial wort. The hard part has already been done for you. Using this method, you will be drinking commercial quality beer at home. Delighted to say we have partnered with Gritchy Brewing Company. Now they are a traditional cask ale type brewery located in Ashmore in Wiltshire. Produced by their awesome head brewer, Alex Belize, making a range of traditional British ales. They're also using Maris Otter that's actually grown on their own estate and water that's drawn from their very own borehole. Having had the delight of actually visiting the brewery, we know that the two companies share some real values. The staff are all really happy. The place is absolutely spotless and they really care about what they produce. Let's take a look at how to make one. So this fresh work kit is Gritchie's English Law. You will receive 20 litres of fresh work and this English ale yeast. This is gonna produce a wonderful English pale ale. However, at this point, you may want to consider customizing. We could think about swapping out the yeast. Now there is a myriad of yeasts available from all over the world. Just a few examples that we could choose. Possibly a Belgian yeast called T58. Now the final product using that yeast would be similar to a Belgian table beer. Alternatively, we could use something like the Verdant strain that's often used in IPA styles. Now this will make a hazy beer with the hops brought to the forefront of the flavour profile. Equally, we could change the type of beer that's produced by adding different types of dry hops. We could use Citra for example. Now this would produce a more modern tasting citrus forward beer. Alternatively, we could look at some British hops giving it a more earthy, traditional feel. The equipment needed to make a fresh work kit is super simple. In fact, if you've ever made a beer kit before, you will already have the equipment required. If you've not got the equipment to brew a fresh work kit at home, don't worry. We've put together this super simple equipment bundle to make it really easy. Now this bundle includes a fermenting bucket with a tap and airlock, no rinse sanitizer, hydrometer and bottling wand. Also to package the beer, we've included 48 500 milliliter PET bottles that are screw capped. Let's go ahead and show you just how simple it is to make a fresh work kit. We're gonna place our clean and sanitized fermenter below a table or countertop. We're then gonna position the tap in the correct place within the bag in the box. 
We're going to sanitize the tap that's in the bag in the box. We're then going to lay the box down, positioning the tap above the fermenter and use the tap to empty the contents into the fermenter. The only time we want to add oxygen to our wort is right at this point. We need to drop it from a height into the fermenter so that it oxygenates nicely. This will give the yeast the best opportunity possible to ferment the wort out completely giving the best flavors possible. Once approximately half of the fresh work kit has drained into the fermenter, we will have incorporated enough oxygen to make the yeast work well. Now we can sanitize the corner of the bag, snip it off and simply pour the rest of the kit into the fermenter. Once all of the fresh work is in the fermenter, it's now time to add the yeast. We need to sanitize the packet, snip the corner off and sprinkle it into the fermenter. We then need to sanitize the lid on the fermenter and put it firmly in place. Then we need to top up the airlock with the sanitizing solution. So that's our fresh work kit into the fermenter. It really couldn't be any easier. All we have to do now is let it ferment. It's important that we maintain a steady temperature during fermentation. This really helps with the quality of the final product. It's gonna take between seven and 10 days for your yeast to turn your fresh work kit into beer. You can check the progress of your fermentation using a hydrometer. We've got a really good video that shows you exactly how to do that. I'll link it here. Once your hydrometer reading has been stable for two clear days, it's time to package your beer. So we've got a fresh work kit here that I have fermented out. I've invited Jim along to help me taste it. Looking forward to it, Rob. Let's, uh, let's see what we think. Yeah, let's have a look. This is the first fresh work kit that I've ever tried. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it turned out. Yeah, let me give you some details. This fresh work kit is a lager base, not an ale base. Okay. But we've not fermented it out as a lager at all. We okay. fermented it out as a really pale ale and we fermented it using the verdant yeast, yep. which is like a hop forward yeast, um, leaves a haze in the beer. Um, but we've also dry hopped it and we've used um, Spectrum, which is a flowable hop product. Yep. And the variety that we dry hopped it with is Galaxy. It's just a light dry hopping, nothing, nothing major. We do want to keep this as a, a as a light beer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's see what you think. What, what's the ABV on it? About four point two. Nice, brilliant. Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, before I even jump into the beer, it looks really inviting. It's such a nice colour, really light, almost straw like, and just well inviting. I think. Yeah, it's really good and actually. Really nice, tight white head, yep. real fluffy. Yeah, it's really, yeah. Um, really, like smell? you say, in, inviting. Should we have a sniff? Yeah, go for it. Oh yeah, there's a really nice subtle hop aroma there, but also kind of bready notes from that lager base yeah. of, uh, of the work kit itself, right? Yeah. Oh, I can't, I can't wait anymore. I'm gonna have to try some. Oh. Oh wow, that's fantastic. You can't, you can't fail to be impressed by how simple it is to produce a commercial quality beer at home. That is absolutely incredible. Yeah, and that is exactly what it is, a commercial quality beer. Yeah. No two ways about it. No it, off flavours, no no kind of, no issues whatsoever. No, it's just a really, really good drinking beer. Yeah. And um, I think there's a couple of really important notes here. I, I've got a massive customer base who, some of them enjoyed making kits and some of them enjoyed making all grain brews with a massive setup and, and every single customer in between. And, you know, a fresh work kit is not going to diminish any making beer in any style in any way, shape or form. But as ease goes and quality produced at the end, this is an amazing way to brew beer. Thanks very much for asking me to come and join you to, to try it. Definitely going to be doing a few of these myself. Nice and absolutely delighted with Gritchies as well. You know the, the support and that, that they've given is fantastic. So delighted, to, delighted to be partnering with them. Yep. Really hope you've enjoyed the video and really hope you feel inspired to brew one of our fresh work kits. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great brew.